Here we will learn about how to simulate a photovoltaic cell using Plex uh, for both studying the IV or the PV characteristics of the PV cell or to simulate the uh, PV cell as part of a larger system. Um, I will run uh, some Plex sample, ex sample simulations to illustrate the, um, the methods that we are we're going to study and uh, we will also look at uh, how to model PV cells in, uh, in MathCAD. We had developed this uh, single diode model of the PV cell earlier with the uh, photon generated current model as a current source. Our model also included the uh, two parasitic resistances namely the shunt resistance and the series resistance. Now the external current I is uh, the photon current IPH minus the diode forward bias current minus the leakage current modeled as the current through this uh, shunt resistance. Um, therefore, our final expression for the external current I is shown here and uh, this is the current source photon current, this is the, um, the diode current, the forward bias diode current and this is the leakage current in the shunt resistance. Now, because of the, uh, the term I appearing on both sides uh, here and here and especially as part of this exponential term on the right hand side, it is uh, quite difficult to get a closed form expression for this equation. However, it is uh, quite easy to model this in uh, numerical simulations such as in Plex as we will see in this video. Similarly, it is also easy to use MathCAD to model and uh, solve this equation. The top figure shows our uh, PB model from the previous slide and the plot in the uh, center that is the implementation, the Plex implementation of uh, this model. Now here is the, uh, the photon current, uh, also the short circuit current modeled as the controlled current source. Now in this figure the controlling value or the magnitude is given as a constant. However it can be um, a dynamic variable obtained from uh, other parts of the simulation or uh, externally. For example uh, we may have a time series data of solar irradiance available from measurements and this can be used to dynamically control uh, this value of the um, short circuit current. The next is the, the diode in our model. The diode can be um, simply modeled as a diode in plex as well. However, in order to um, better uh, control the characteristics of, um, of this diode, it is usually modeled uh, also as another controlled current source um, with the uh, value of the current uh, being given by the diode equation with uh, appropriate parameters. The uh, diode equation is uh, shown here which is uh, exactly modeled, uh, which is exactly implemented in the function block of PLEX. Now VD, the uh, diode voltage required here, this is directly measured from simulation through this voltmeter and applied as an input to, the, to this function block. The uh, other variables, the dock saturation current IO and the temperature T, they are uh, defined as uh, two separate uh, variables um, uh, in order to be able to study the impact of temperature on the characteristics of the diode and therefore on the PV cell. The other constants such as the uh, Q and uh, K and this ideality factor A, they are implemented as um, uh, simple constants inside the definition of this uh, function block. So this is uh, the IO and U1 here is the voltage measured VD and U3 is the temperature. Okay, And then uh, a final point about uh, this capacitance uh, C. Now, this capacitance is needed in order to uh, prevent the uh, algebraic loop that would uh, otherwise be formed since the, uh, the diode current as per this equation depends on the diode voltage and the diode voltage in turn depends on the diode current and how much uh, of that is being diverted from this uh, current source. So in order to prevent that loop we put this capacitance um, and this C can be a really low value in the order of uh, uh, several picofarads. The Plex uh, PV cell implementation that we developed in the previous slide uh, and also shown uh, here uh, so that is uh, everything to the left of this line that is our PV cell model. Now this model can be used to uh, analyze a single PV cell 
or with a suitable scaling for a series and parallel connection it can be used for modeling larger PV arrays uh, but it can also be used to obtain the um, uh, the IV or the current voltage and the power voltage characteristics of a PV cell or a larger array um, and that is what is discussed uh, in this slide now there are several ways to get the IV or the PV curves now we can connect uh, a variable resistance across the terminals of the PV and vary this resistance from a short circuit to uh, a large impedance or open circuit or we can connect a DC to DC converter again at the output of the PV terminals and um, so this DC DC converter can have a constant resistance at its output but we can vary the duty ratio to uh, vary the effective resistance seen by the PV cell or the or the panel or uh, especially in simulation and uh, as done uh, here we can we can sweep the um, PV terminal voltage and measure the corresponding uh, PV current. Now in this schematic the uh, terminal voltage here um, through this uh, controlled voltage source and uh, the ramp controlling it the uh, voltage across the PV terminals is, uh, is swept from 0 volts up to the VOC or the open circuit voltage at a specified rate and the corresponding PV current um, and voltage is measured through this ammeter and voltmeter and plotted using the XY scope of, uh, of PLEX uh, that will give us the IV curves now to get the power voltage curve we simply multiply the voltage and the measured current to get the power and plot the power versus voltage in, a, in another um, XY plot Okay, so these are the uh, simulated results corresponding to the diode model that I showed in the previous slide and um, these four curves, these are the IV curves, the current voltage curves and they correspond to four different solar irradiance levels uh, ranging from 1000 watts per square meter to 250 watts square me per square meter and this corresponds to a single cell so the open circuit voltage is um, just, just above 0.62 at the highest uh, irradiance level similarly these plots correspond to the um, the power voltage characteristics also obtained from the same PV model and uh, again they correspond to uh, five different values of uh, irradiance levels okay next uh, I will go ahead and run an actual plex simulation uh, corresponding to uh, parameters extracted from a data sheet of a commercial PV module. Okay, so this is the uh, plex schematic of a single PV cell model, and um, here is the photon um, current or the short circuit current model as a current source. Its value is a constant, it's uh, 8.33 amperes. Uh, so, this parameter INS I will uh, explain later. We don't actually need this for this particular run we will need this when we go ahead and do um, a parametric sweep where I want to uh, sweep the insulation level to get the characteristics at different uh, insulation uh, irradiance levels uh, but for this particular run uh, where there is only one value of uh, irradiance um, the INS is, uh, is chosen as 1 so therefore this current source uh, value is simply 8.33 amperes this is the diode um, uh, represented by another control current source and this is the um, function block uh, uh, writing the equation for the diode and um, the three parameters needed the, the diode voltage, the temperature and the, um, the dark saturation current are shown here the shunt resistance um, calculated from the data sheet was 5 ohms for this particular cell and the series resistance is uh, roughly 5 milliohms, 4.84 milliohms now this is the capacitance I mentioned to have to break the algebraic loop and uh, as I mentioned the value can be very small and here it is one picofarad. Um, so this is the ramp that uh, controls the voltage that I'm sweeping the terminal um, with. So if I click on this, uh, I'm, this is the slope, it's a slope of one volt per second and I'm sweeping from zero volts up to 0.7 volts which is slightly higher than the open circuit voltage of roughly 0.625 for this particular um, um, PV cell. Okay, 
and uh, I'm measuring the current and the voltage and those are fed the current and this voltage those are fed to this XY plot to um, give us the IV curves and then I'm multiplying the current and the voltage in this product block and um, plotting the power versus again the same terminal voltage to get the PV characteristic so let me uh, uh, okay and also the the various constants the A and K and the Q they have been defined inside this uh, initialization um, so Q K A okay and um, so go ahead and uh, run the simulation okay and uh, this is the IV curve obtained from the first XY plot so the short circuit current as we model is about 8.33 amperes and the open circuit voltage at this given irradiance is, um, is about 0 0.62 um, volts okay, and similarly this is the power voltage curves obtained from the other XY plot and uh, uh, as you can see the power uh, maximum value is around 3.9 volts and the same open circuit voltage and the peak power occurs around uh, somewhere around 0.5 volts now both the IV curves as well as this uh, power voltage curves uh, they match uh, very well with the published um, um, curves in the in the data sheets okay I mentioned this simulation script in order to sweep any particular parameter over a range of values so let's look at that example and um, we are we're going to sweep this uh, I, um, ISC the short circuit current um, over a uh, range of values so that is done in this uh, simulation simulation scripts and this is a C script in order to do this uh, parametric sweep now we will not have time to go through this uh, program in detail and uh, I have actually included this script in the PowerPoint uh, slide that comes with this video the main point I wanted to show is um, uh, this parameter insulation that is being swept from 1000 watts per square meter to 200 watts per square meter five different values and this insulation is multiplied by 1 e minus 3 um, to get the uh, short circuit current to get INS value um, and um, the short circuit current is 8.33 times INS so meaning at 1000 watts per square meter it's 8.33 amperes and at 200 it is one fifth uh, of that value so I just uh, run this now before I actually show the results uh, I also wanted to highlight that the parametric sweep is not possible uh, at least at present uh, with this XY plots so we have to do you have to use uh, a standard uh, scope in order to uh, be able to sweep a parameter and analyze the results for different values so even this scope has been actually programmed in the C script that I showed and um, this now will show the IV curves for different values of the irradiance okay and here are the IV um, curves corresponding to those five different values of um, irradiance levels starting with a short circuit current of 8.33 all the way down to um, exactly one-fifth of that value and the uh, corresponding change in the open circuit voltage is uh, noticed here so similarly we can also um, define the um, uh, the scope to have the the PV curves the power voltage curves and we can also look at um, the variation of the PV curves with the um, insulation using the same simulation script the simulation script that we used in the plex simulation um, that we just saw uh, that script is shown here now this part sh defines the uh, scope in which we observe the uh, multiple simulation runs now in the example that we just saw we are sweeping the irradiance level or the insulation and uh, that is defined uh, here so we, per we define this parameter insulation and the range over which it varies is also defined uh, this is in watts per square meter then we have another parameter called this INS that is really what is being swept and uh, this INS is defined as seen uh, as uh, insulation times um, uh, 10 to the minus 3 so um, for insulation of 1000 watts per square meter INS would be 1 and at 200 it would be 1 fifth and uh, in the schematic we saw that I've defined the uh, short circuit current the, the current source as uh, INS times 8.33 
Therefore, the short circuit current is swept from 8.33 amperes to one fifth uh, of that value. Now, you can use the same script shown in this slide to um, sweep uh, and study the impact of any other parameter. For example, the effect of temperature or um, the parasitic series and shunt resistances. Uh, all you have to do is just change this um, uh, insulation to the appropriate parameter like temperature or the resistance value or you could directly change this INS uh, to be your um, series or shunt resistance or the temperature. Okay, so this is also getting to be a long video. So I'm going to cover the remaining uh, topics in this uh, circuit simulation of PV cells uh, as a part two of this video where we will look at um, a MathCAD model of a PV cell and how to get the IV PV characteristics uh, and also cover the simulation of series connected PV cells in PLEX uh, also in detail.